Hi, welcome to a video tutorial brought to you by LearnHowToScreenPrint.com. In today's video, we're going to show you the process of separating colors inside an image um, in Photoshop for outputting your film positives. So let's go ahead and get started. We have an image open right here, and we're going to make sure that it is RGB. So click Image Mode, and it is RGB. Okay, and we're going to make sure that uh, the resolution is 300 dpi. So we'll scroll on down to image size, click on that, and the resolution is 300 dpi. We have the width right here and the height, so everything looks good. That's uh, what we're going to be putting the uh, size of the graphic on the t-shirt. So first thing, let's go ahead and duplicate a layer. Just in case we mess up, I um, always like to keep one duplicate layer until we're ready to output our film positives. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the black uh, in the background. That's going to be the color of the t-shirt, so we're not, we don't need to output that to a film positive. Let's click on the magic eraser tool, and we're going to have the tolerance set to 32. 32 is a good tolerance for deleting um, background colors. Go ahead and click, and it gets rid of most of it. We'll have to zoom in here and get in between the letters. Okay, let's, um, let's move down a little bit. I know there was some black in the letters down here. Okay, so we have three colors all here on this layer. Let's go ahead and start um, putting each color on its own separate layer. Let's go to the magic wand tool, click on one color, and we will right click the mouse scroll up to similar that way it selects all of the blue in the image okay once we have that selected we'll right click again and put it on a new layer via copy so now the blue is on a layer by itself let's go back to the uh, layer right here and we'll click on the red right click similar right click again layer via copy okay now the red is on its own separate layer there it is even that little bit in there okay let's go back to this layer here and now we'll get the white click on an area of white right click select similar now all the white in the design is selected right click again layer via copy now we have each color on its own layer. If you don't have a uh, RIP software, you know, if you're just starting out, uh, you can do spot color separations this way. And we will go down here to the bottom of the layers panel. And we're going to add a color overlay. Let's drag it all the way down here into the bottom left hand corner. Zero, zero, zero. That means it is the black as it can get. Okay, so now when we output that layer there to a uh, uh, waterproof inkjet film or film positive, it is going to print very dark and opaque. Let's do the same thing to each layer. Make sure you get that all the way down there in the corner. Nice and dark. Okay, so now we can print each layer as a uh, film positive. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and let's resize this box that way you can see it. There we go. Okay. Let's scroll on down. Let's add some uh, center marks and registration marks. This will make um, registering your screens on the press much, much easier. Okay. 
and that's all you pretty much have to do. You could hit print, and then that would have printed out a film positive. Uh, one tip for printing, since this is on a black t-shirt, we will need a white underbase. So let's go ahead and add a stroke to each color that is above the white underbase. Let's make that two pixels. That way, when we have a white underbase, it will not be uh, peeking out of the red. So we added a stroke which overlaps the white underbase film positive by two pixels. Let's go ahead and do that to the blue. Okay, so now it would be better to print that as your blue for the film positive. That way when you do print white underbase, you know, have all of the layers um, visible and go ahead and turn off the stroke. Now you're ready to print the white underbase. It will not be peeking out of the red or blue on the t-shirt. So for the white underbase, go ahead and file, print. Same thing, we'll resize the box, that way you can see what we're doing. Okay, so let's move this on down. We're going to add the registration marks and the center crop marks. And you're ready to print. Thanks for watching.